Hi viewers, welcome back to your Evasion and A Traffic Control YouTube channel. This lecture is on Secondary Surveillance Radar Mode S. We will be regularly uploading videos on topics related with aviation. So if you have not subscribed our channel, then please subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any update from your channel. Secondary radar systems are A traffic control systems used to obtain identity and altitude of cooperative targets. Cooperative targets are aircraft with serviceable transponder on board. Secondary surveillance radar system is a ground station called interrogator, which transmits suitably coded group of pulses on a frequency of 1030 MHz using a directional rotating antenna. The transponder is a receiver transmitter in airborne aircraft, which automatically receives this coded interrogation and replies by transmitting a coded group of replies on 1090 MHz. This reply is received by the ground receiver, processed by the decoder and displayed to the air traffic controller on the radar display. Modes of interrogation. The International Civil Aviation Organization has proposed standard spacing for the civil modes. The SSR interrogation format, which is also known as uplink format, is consisting of two pulses, P1 and P3. This determines the mode of interrogation. If the P1, P3 timing is 8 microseconds, a mode alpha, which is known as identification, response is expected. Mode alpha is a four number code, each number having a value from 0 to 7 only. So, 0, 0, 0, 0 is the lowest and 7, 7, 7, 7 is the highest numerical value that can be transmitted by an aircraft. Thus, there are 4096 possible combinations in total. The aircraft crew can set the code on a flight deck panel and will be allotted a code called squawk by the air traffic controller. Mode C uses the same 4096 code system as mode A, but the framing pulses are at a different time separation. The P1, P3 timing is 21 microseconds. The request is for mode Charlie altitude data. The reply pulses this time are created from an encoder on the aircraft altimeter, such that the transponder conveys the altimeter reading to the interrogator on the ground. Mode S, interrogation and transponder systems are a third version of secondary surveillance radar. The mode S uplink interrogation formats starts with two pulses, P1 and P2, which are just for the purpose of suppressing existing mode A, C only transponders so that they are not aware of the main mode S information. The mode S interrogation data contained in the P6 data block is phase modulated. The mode S interrogation may be of short 56 bits or long 112 bits, thus can send additional data as compared to mode A and mode C. The P6 pulse width is 16.25 microseconds for 56 bit and it is 30.25 microseconds for 112 bits. The mode S side loop separation pulse P5 is transmitted from the control beam like the P2 which is used in the mode AC system. S stands for selective. Each aircraft equipped with mode S transponder has a unique 24-bit aircraft address, which means we have now 16,777,216 possible codes for aircraft identification. This 24-bit aircraft code is divided into two parts. The first part is called the header code or country code. 
this country code is not fixed. This 24 complete bit is unique to each aircraft and it is allocated by the registering authority of the state within which the aircraft is registered. Once issued this 24 bit ECAO, it is hard coded into the aircraft airframe. 24 bit aircraft address is unique to each aircraft and MODIS surveillance technique uses this unique aircraft address to interrogate selectively with each aircraft. In addition, each MODIS ground sensor is allocated a 4 bit discrete identification code, which is known as interrogator code. This interrogator code is included in all interrogations. The MODIS transponder sends the reply to MODIS ground sensor. This downlink format also contains this interrogator code. MODIS ground sensor will compare the identification code field element of received reply. And if identification code matches, it will accept the received message. And if it is different, which means interrogation reply by aircraft is meant for some other or some different ground sensor. Thus, it will ignore this reply from the aircraft. This SSR mode S system is compatible with existing mode A, mode C system. Mode S airborne transponder will reply to the interrogations received from the mode A, mode C ground station. Mode S ground sensor can interrogate Mode A, Mode C, and Mode S aircraft, as well as receives and process the reply from Mode A, C, S transponder. Mode A, C, S all call interrogations, which is used for surveillance of Mode A, Mode C transponders and for acquiring Mode S transponders. Mode A, C only all call. This elects a reply from mode A, mode C transponder, but not from mode S transponder. The mode S interrogation, which only elects a reply from mode S transponders. Mode A, mode C transponder aircraft will not reply to mode S interrogation. Acquisition. Each mode S ground sensor has a discrete identification code known as interrogator code. The interrogator code is included in the interrogation pulse. Modus radar sends all call interrogations to detect and acquire incoming aircraft. Modus radar will broadcast interrogation pulses. Modus transponder equipped aircraft will reply with its 24-bit Modus address. Selective interrogations. Once acquired, the MODIS radar sends selective interrogations to the aircraft using the 24-bit MODIS address received during the acquisition. Lockout. Targets that have been acquired in the all call period are subsequently selectively interrogated for surveillance information in the MODIS period. Control information within the interrogations allows the ground sensor to apply lockout, which means that the target will not reply to all call with that interrogator code for a period of 18 seconds. Mode as interrogations procedure. Mode as ground sensor has an operation range of 250 nautical miles to 60 nautical miles. Once aircraft enters into radar coverage, this aircraft target will be locked within lockout coverage of mode S ground sensor. Aircraft not in line of sight of mode S radar, thus it will not receive all call interrogations from mode S ground radar. Aircraft is outside the surveillance coverage of mode S radar and receives all call interrogations and replies, but replies are not processed by mode as ground radar. As aircraft is now inside the surveillance coverage of mode as radar, aircraft will receive 
all call interrogations and replies aircraft replies processed by modis ground radar and target is acquired by the modis ground radar but still target is not logged by the radar this time aircraft is locked by modis ground radar as it is operating inside the radar lockout coverage area during lockout aircraft does not reply to all call selective interrogations will be done which is known as roll call aircraft is in surveillance coverage but outside the lockout coverage area now it is not locked by radar and aircraft will receive all call aircraft is outside surveillance coverage and receive all call interrogations and replies but replies are not processed by radar as it is outside the radar surveillance coverage area aircraft not in line of sight of radar does uh, not receive all call interrogation advantages of modes secondary surveillance radar system modes in its basic form has been standardized by icao for many years it employs ground based interrogators and airborne transponders and operates in the same radio frequency 1030 megahertz 1090 megahertz as conventional secondary surveillance radar system do so they are capable of backward compatible modes has been deployed because the historical secondary surveillance radar system have reached the limit of their operational capability this take the form of exceeded maximum number of targets radio frequency pollution lost targets identity errors and mode a code shortage first major error that occurs when conventional ssr system mode is overlap replies that is garbling overlap occurs when two or more replies coming at the same time this causes identification problems at the ground radar system garbling error is eliminated by the use of a unique 24 bit aircraft address downlink format contains 24 bit aircraft address and thus it eliminates garbling ground sensor is aware that which target has sent the message and process the information the second major error of conventional ssr system is fruit this error occurs because the replies from the aircraft are broadcasted omnidirectional and they are received by the receiver of ground stations so for example aircraft is replying to interrogations of ssr2 ground station but it will also be received by ssr1 ground station ssr1 did not ask for replies but as received will process as valid replies but finally will reject due errors fruit problem is solved by identification code identification code of ground station is unique and it contains in every interrogation sent to the aircraft modis transponder will include this interrogation code in its reply pulse ground sensor will compare received identification code if it is matches with it it will accept otherwise it will reject thus reduces fruit issues mode a code shortages only 4096 mode a identification codes are available as traffic levels increases it is becoming increasingly difficult to assign unique codes within a given region of airspace mode s uses 24 bit aircraft address which eliminates the limited identification code issue of conventional ssr 16 million 777216 possible codes for aircraft identifications are now available saturation in conventional ssr system conventional ssr system get saturated due increase in traffic so it is not able to handle the increased traffic capacity modes radar are able to process double the targets handled by the conventional monopulse secondary surveillance radar installations improvements to safety nets the ability of modes to eliminate synchronous garbling to produce a more stable speed vector 
and to acquire aircraft altitude reporting in 25 feet increments. MODIS provides valuable improvements to the quality of safety nets. These improvements reduces the number of false alerts and enhance the integrity of separation assurance. Thank you.